Well, the foundation of Hillsong Church continuing to be rocked. Now the senior global pastor, Brian Houston, announcing that he is done. Him and his wife are stepping down as the leaders. We're going to get into all the details of this, guys. Right off the top, let me mention really quick, I am now over on Rumble, guys. I made a Rumble account. I encourage you guys to start subscribing to me over there. The link is in the description. I'm saying sign up as fast as you can because... Well, we were recently demonetized here on the YouTube channel. We lost all of our revenue, so we could go down here at any point. Rumble's going to be our backup, so sign up over there to start getting my video content on that platform. And also, because we lost our revenue, guys, we need your help now more than ever to help support the ministry. There's a couple different ways you could do that. One is through PayPal. PayPal link down below in the description. You could do either a one-time donation or you could do a monthly donation, which works out the best for us. But of course, whatever you're able to to give and contribute is a blessing. Or you can sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month, the Patreon link down below. There you're gonna get access to all of my bonus content, my podcast where I talk more about sensitive information. Plus you're also gonna get the links to the YouTube videos over there on the Patreon because YouTube is not always alerting you for when new content goes out. Patreon is a great way guys to make sure you do not miss any of my content. Now all that being said, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. So Brian Houston, he made this announcement during the church's Vision Sunday this past week, stating that, yes, he and his wife, Bobby, are stepping down as the global pastors for Hillsong Church. Now, of course, they're down there in Australia. You got Hillsong churches all over the globe. Now, his reasoning for this is that he states that it's just gotten to be too much for him and Bobby to be able to handle and manage. You know what? They're getting older now, and he wants to put his focus and attention on bringing in younger leaders. Now, is that the best answer? Well, that remains to be seen. You can make an argument for that on both sides. The replacements he has announced as both uh, Gary and Kathy Clark, they're currently the lead pastors of Hillsong over in London. They're going to be taking over now as the new global lead pastors. Here's my feeling on this. I think the reason that Brian Houston has stepped down is because of all of the scandals that have been just Hillsong has just been drowning in over the course of the last couple of months. Of course, it all started with Hillsong NYC, New York, with the firing of Pastor Carl Lentz, the moral failures. We know he cheated on, not only on his wife, but I mean, there's multiple women that were involved in this as well. This guy was involved in all sorts of financial abuse on top of that. Uh, then you had the scandal coming out about, you know, church members and, and volunteers with the staff were doing the dirty, dirty there at Hillsong NYC. And then the reports coming out about the financial abuse, not just there in New York, but also across all other locations in the U.S. Pastors were abusing their prepaid expense cards. Uh, they were getting involved in all sorts of situations they weren't supposed to be doing, taking the tithe of money and using that for their lavish lifestyles to help fund that. So it just kept getting worse and worse. Brian Hughes said to keep coming out and making you know announcement, okay, we're launching an investigation into this now. Now we're launching an investigation into this. It just got to the point where he was seemingly coming out every week having to say that we're, we're now launching an investigation into this now. So this is just bad. And I said, I, I said, Hillsong is coming down. I said it before. When this whole thing started with Carl Lentz and then it was just one thing after another from there, I said, they're coming down. Houston wants to get out of here. He's, he sees writing on the wall. I mean, you got, the, you got the founder, the CEO. He's like, I'm done. I'm out of here. I don't want nothing to do with this anymore. I've had enough bad attention on me now, and I'm just, I'm through with it. Someone else can take the reins. We're leaving. But look, he can run. That's fine. But the foundation will come down. He announced new pastors for, for NYC. You know, Krishan and Daniel, Jarrett Nam, they're coming over now. Look, it's not going to matter until you change the culture, until you change the culture of Hillsong, until you make it about Christ. Winning souls doesn't matter who you put in a pulpit. It doesn't matter how many people effectively step down. If you're not willing to change the vision of the church, the church is never going to change. If the church cares more about reaching the celebrities and being seeker friendly, like Hillsong is, it's not going to change. You're going to continue to see scandals coming out. It's, why do you think you got the top dog here? He's abandoning ship, ladies and gentlemen.
because the ship's going down. It hit the iceberg. It done hit that iceberg a long time ago. But I mean, now it's just to the point where everybody sees the writing on the wall, I believe. So that's why it's important. I say all the time, get yourself invested into a church that's not seeker-friendly, that doesn't compromise the word of God. Houston has made enough controversial statements during his time as the Global Hillsong pastor. No, you need to get yourself you get yourself put and instituted into a place that's really going to preach the word of God. This guy talk about ready for it? This is the one they always get you for. Sin. Oh, you're not allowed to say that, right? Repentance. Oh, wait, you're not allowed to say that. Because nothing is evil anymore. You have to repent for anything. Well, that's not the case. In fact, as part of our ministry here. We're trying to win as many souls to Christ as we possibly can. That's what it should be all about. And I just mentioned repentance here a minute ago. And I want to give everybody here the opportunity. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you, make the decision today. Repent of your sins. It means to turn from something. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit. Whatever it is in your life that you're doing that is contrary to what the Word of God says. Ask Jesus to forgive you. He will. And then invite him into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you're going to have eternal life in heaven. You become a child of God. That's the greatest decision that you are ever going to make. These apostate churches, these compromising false teachers and false prophets, ladies and gentlemen, they're going down. But you can make sure that you're going to go up when the Lord comes back. And we'll be with him for all of eternity. Guys, let me know your thoughts here on Brian Houston stepping down from Hillsong in the comment section. Again, all the links to donate can be found down below if you're able to help out with that. It is a great blessing. Don't forget to check me out on Rumble. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.